diagnosis during screening if any kind of symptoms of cancer or any kind of abnormality is found then further tests are being recommended colposcopy it lets a close up look at cervix it's used to find abnormal cells in your cervix in this patient lie down on an exam table the doctor then puts a speculum into vagina and open it this separates the walls of vagina so to get a good look at cervix then through a colposcopy doctor sees something that doesn't look normal they'll do a biopsy biopsy or colposcopy guided cervical biopsy some tissue is being removed from cervix to test abnormal cancer or precancerous condition there are several types of biopsies punch biopsy small piece of tissue is taken from the cervix neck of womb if colposcopy examination showed an area on cervix where there may be some changes sometimes a number of punch biopsies may be performed on different areas of the cervix the biopsy will be sent to the lab for review the results will tell if there is an abnormality present and that will help in deciding on the most appropriate management option endocervical curettage endocervical scraping this type of biopsy uses a small tool to scrape cells or tissue from the cervix it may be done during a colposcopy it lets the healthcare get cells from an area that can't be seen cone biopsy conization a piece of tissue is removed in the shape of cone from cervix the tissue is tested in lab for precancerous or cancerous cells lep loop electrosurgical excision procedure in this a small electrical wire loop is used to remove abnormal cells from cervix lep surgery may be performed after abnormal cells are found during a pap test colposcopy or biopsy medicines may be used to numb the area around so to lessen discomfort during procedure tests if biopsy shows cancer then further tests will be recommended to see whether it's spread and how far these tests include complete blood count cbc it measures the number and quality of white blood cells red blood cells and platelets it may be done to check for anemia from long term or chronic vaginal bleeding blood tests to check kidney and liver function imaging tests imaging tests make pictures of the body they can show the location and size of the cancer tests might include x-ray mri ct scan pet etc chest x-ray can help identify whether the cancer has spread to the lungs magnetic resonance imaging mri and mri uses magnets and radio waves to make a detailed picture of the inside of body it assesses the pelvis abdomen lymph nodes around the cervix it checks if cancer has spread to other organs or tissue ct scan creates a 3d picture of the inside of body it assesses the pelvis abdomen lymph nodes around the cervix it can show smaller cancers than an x-ray and enlarged lymph nodes pet positron emission tomography scan uses a small radioactive materials to help and determine the extent of cervical cancer involvement it may be combined with ct scan and mri so to produce special views so to get accurate diagnosis radio pharmaceuticals to look for changes in the metabolic activity of body tissues it makes 3d color images of the area being scanned visual examination of your bladder and rectum special scopes are used to look for signs of cancer inside bladder and rectum 
to be continued. Thank you for watching my video. For more videos kindly like share